Good day, friends and family, and hope you are well wherever you're listening to the sound of my voice. I'm very concerned and very troubled in my heart, and this concerns the controversial song, Kill the Farmer, Kill the Boer. And first of all, I just want to come out and say, with possible strong words, I condemn this song. This song is wrong. This song should not be celebrated. It should not be accepted in our nation. It instigates and encourages hatred and violence against a certain group of people in this nation. And we can no longer afford to be silent on matters like this that divides our nation and continue to rip us apart. And that's why I want to challenge you as a South African, a loving South African who loves this country, especially a believer. If you are a believer and you are passionate about this country and you believe in the promise of God for this country, and I want you to stand up and to pray against this evil spirit This evil spirit that the the enemy is sending between people of God in this nation. And especially as spiritual leaders, we need to bring this country together. We need to begin to build bridges of reconciliation in this country. And we cannot do that if we are silent when the enemy is rising his voice of division over this nation. Imagine if a group of farmers decides to come up with a song, kill the blacks, kill the Africans. How would you feel as a black person when you hear a song being celebrated, a song that instigates violence against you as a people? Come on, South Africa, we are better than this. Add your voice today. Make sure that you do this not only for you, not only for the peace of South Africa, but also for the prosperity of the next generation. We owe it to our children. We cannot continue teaching our children and young people hatred in this country. It's all in our hands. What are you going to do about it? There is a silence majority in this country. And these are men and women who believes in a new South Africa. It's men and women who are passionate about this country and who wants to see this country work. And that is the silence majority that needs to stand up and rise up in this time. And I know God has got a great plan and purpose for, for this nation. There is a prophetic word of God over South Africa. And no spear, fashion and design against this nation shall prosper. But we need to stand up as the gatekeepers of this nation. We cannot afford to be silent church. We need to speak up against these dividing songs. We cannot afford to be silent. Lest the blood of the innocents will also be in our hands. South Africa, it's time to speak up and stand up for righteousness. Thank you and may the Lord bless you.